Bro, what are you doing? Are you gonna cavity search? Martin, get over here. <laughs> Woo, you're up. Good morning, everyone. I just got to the shop. Oh shit, my hair is a little fucked up because I just got a haircut. We might be having a photo shoot tomorrow. So you know your boy had to get fresh. And I'm hoping that we do have this photo shoot because we just released some new Street Legends products and I haven't been able to promote them or show you guys really. So hopefully we get that done tomorrow and you guys are gonna see all these new cool ads all next week all over Instagram. We just got a new package in right now. I wonder what this is. I kind of have an idea of what it could be, and if it is, you guys are gonna see it here first. Voila! These are our new flyers for our event in March. Dude, these feel so clean. Check out that artwork. Tell me another company making hand illustrated flyers like this. Guys, so if you see one of these, make sure you don't throw it away, save it. Uh, this could be a collectible. This is super dope. You can see that right there. Tune in TokyoEvents.com. Make sure you guys check out our event in March. You guys are going to be seeing these flyers all over every single event from here on out. Geo and the team, the promotion starts now. Oh, let me see that haircut. It's slick Rick in the ruler. Sonic <laughs> the Hedgehog, bro. So Everywhere. he brought this new place that just opened called Kane's. Let's check out. it out. Oh, wow. So chink some chicken Damn. fingers. It, it's like a bank for your buck place because I bet you all of that costs like $8. Was it $8? Yeah, it was like 8 bucks. Yeah, there it is. I cannot wait to eat. I have not eaten all day and I'm fucking starving. Before I start eating, I wanted to let you guys know what the plans are for today. R1 Concept sent us a package earlier this week and I believe there are new rotors for the 350Z. So we're gonna go ahead and open up that package later. And if they are those rotors, we're gonna go ahead and install that shit today. Oh, and sorry about my hairdo. <laughs> it's really messed up. I think it's hilarious. So don't make fun of me, you guys. This is gonna be the first time I'm changing out the brakes for the 350Z. I'm sure they're up. I hit about 100,000 miles on the 350Z, so I believe that I need to change out the brakes as soon as possible. Good thing, shout out to R1 Concepts on sending us that package. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and change, and we're gonna start working on that 350Z. So let me show you guys what R1 Concepts sent us. We got some brake pads. Yup, look at these. Cause you know, just race car shit. And we got some slotted or drilled in. There they are, oh. some drilled and slotted rotors. Yeah, these are pretty badass. You got front and rear. How heavy, oh, okay. Heavy duty. Yeah, they're heavy duty, brother. Some weight to these bad boys. They sent us four of these, obviously the front and rear, and some brake pads. We're gonna go ahead and try to install all of that today. If not, this probably will be a part two video. Don't take my word for it right now. We don't know. Well, we're just gonna play it out as it goes. Bro, well, what are you doing? Are you gonna cavity search? Martin, get over here. <laughs> Woo, you're up. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna get the breaker bar, break the lug nuts loose, lift the car up, and then go ahead and remove all four tires. So then I can go ahead and get to the rotors and get those removed and then install the new ones. You gotta loosen it when it's on the floor, because if you don't, it's a bitch and when you loosen it. Loosening them when they're when the car's in the air, the tire just spins free. Yeah. The first step is loosening the lug nuts from all the wheels. I'm glad that we're using our car lift a lot more now. Right now we're making sure that the arms are on the jack points so we can lift up the car properly. And there we go. Remember, always check safety first. You know why you're fucking car falling while you're lifting it up. You know, this guy Ivan learned how to do all this shit off YouTube. I just asked him if he's ever changed <laughs> the rotors before on a car and he said, yeah, I don't know how. I think he learned off fucking Google and YouTube just about an hour ago. I think, I think he's lying, so. <laughs> if this video does not go smooth, it's because of him. So we got wheel number one out. We got the passenger wheel out. We're gonna start with the front 
Christopher. And Ivan's over here uh, Googling how the fuck to do this right now. <laughs> Bro, it's gonna happen. So I'm removing these two 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter bolts right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these so I can slide the brake caliper off the rotor. So that way I can pull the OEM rotor. There we go. The only thing is... Is there a bolt under there? Okay. Something's holding it in. I think I might just need to remove the bracket that holds the brake caliper in place and then that should actually do the trick. I don't think I need to remove this at all. Probably remove everything at the same time. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm just still gonna go with it. Yeah, remember bro, no shortcuts. Uh, oh, there we go. Trying to get a better... What I need to do, if you can't give me some zip ties, I need to zip tie this. Right now, I've been zip tying the caliper because it usually hangs off to the side. I'm just gonna put, it's gonna hang on off the brake line and you don't want that. There we go, brackets off. Come on bro, slide that shit out. Well, it's on there, I can oh, that. Man, we have um, another, we have a little situation. Let me try to get a rubber mallet, if not. Every brake rotor always has a thread hole. Like, I, I don't know what the thread is, but there's always a, a hole. When it sees, you can't take it out, so what you do, you put a bolt in there, and you tighten it down, and what it'll do, it'll push the, ro the brake rotor out to break it loose, which I just did, and it broke loose, and now it's just, boom, it ready to go. As you can tell, the, the way the grooves are cut, you gotta make sure you put them in the correct side. As you can tell, the rotor's gonna rotate this way, which is the flow of the grooves. So this one goes here. Now that we got the new brake rotor, which is fucking awesome, shout out to R1 for that. We're putting the caliper and the brake pads back on the rotor. So we officially have the new rotor on, on the on the driver's side of the 350Z. Everything's put back on now. The caliper, the brake pads, and we're good to go for the driver's side. Now it's time to install the rotor on the passenger side. We got the wheel off earlier. Now Ivan's just gonna loosen up the bolts on the caliper bracket. Oh yeah, this is some level 10 shit, bro. <laughs> As we mentioned earlier, when you're trying to remove the rotor and it's stuck, here's that little trick Ivan was talking to you guys about. It's this little screw right here. As soon as you start screwing it in, this whole entire thing starts popping out. All right, you guys are gonna see it firsthand right here. So, so take it out, all right? And you see this little spacer? It has this little spacer metal sleeve piece. Take this out, screw it back in its hole. And it's full, get it? All right, so screw her in and then as you, it's as you're screwing this in, it'll pull the rotor loose. So watch this. There it is. Voila. And then she's out. Before you actually put on a new rotor, you have to wipe it down with brake cleaner because it comes with a special coating that prevents it from rusting. As you can see, Ivan right now is wiping it down. You gotta make sure you get it thoroughly. Yep. Now it should just slide right in. I know we kind of rushed into the whole install. It's not really too complex to actually install a, a brake rotor. But what we're deciding to do is we're only gonna do the front and in the next episode, we'll actually install the rear and maybe get into more detail with the entire install. Anyways, I hope you guys have been enjoying our daily vlogs so far. We're doing our best. We're a little rusty. I know I am have vlogging. I always forget like, oh shit, I should be recording that. I gotta get used to doing this. It's gonna take a lot of discipline. Gotta make it a habit. And I'm just doing this for you guys, so bear with me. We're gonna leave the 350Z hanging and we'll continue this install in the next video. If you made it this far, you know that in every single vlog we do, we do a YouTube giveaway. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the winner of this vlog right now. Congrats on winning and participating. And if you're wondering how to enter in our YouTube giveaway, all you have to do is comment below. That's it, comment on this video and we're gonna be choosing a winner on our next vlog. I hope you guys learned a little bit about rotors while watching this video. And if you enjoyed this, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Riders on the storm Riders on the storm